Hey everyone, it's Mitch here with Fluorescent, and today I'm going to walk you through how to manually update your theme to take advantage of new features and bug fixes. It's important to note that this tutorial is for updating OS 2.0 versions of our themes only. If you're currently using a vintage theme, or are unsure how to check whether or not your current theme uses Shopify's theme OS 2.0, please check out the link in the description before following this tutorial. Now I know that updating your Shopify theme can seem like an overwhelming task if you've never done it before, but I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can do this yourself quickly and easily. Let's get started. The first thing that you'll need to do is add the latest copy of your theme to your Shopify admin. As long as you originally purchased the theme from Shopify's theme store, you can log in there to get the latest version for free. Simply navigate to the themes listing page on the store and select add latest theme version. This will add an unpublished copy of the newest version of your theme to your Shopify admin. We'll include direct links for each of our theme listing pages in the video description. Now you can open your admin and navigate to online store and then themes to view and edit all of your shop's available themes. At this point, you should already see the latest copy of your theme added to the unpublished list. And in the next few steps, I'm going to show you how to copy your current theme version settings and template files over to the new version that you've just added from the theme store. To start the update, we'll open up both code editors for both themes in separate windows so that we can view them side by side. To open the code editor for each theme, click on the Actions menu, which looks like three dots next to the theme, and then select Edit Code. In the first window, open the theme editor of your old theme, and in the second window, open the code editor for your new theme. Let's start by finding and opening the files that we need to transfer from the old theme to the new one. What we're going to do in this next step is copy over any of the page templates that have previously been customized in the theme, along with any settings that we've previously selected in our old version to the new version. So the only files that we'll need to be concerned about with this step are those in the templates folder and those in the config folder. When I open up the templates folder inside my code editor, you can see that some files have dots next to them. Those are the template files that have been edited or added to in my current copy of the theme. In my demo shop, for example, you'll see that both the blog JSON file and the index JSON file have dots next to them. This indicates that I've made changes to these templates in the published copy of the theme. And we'll need to copy these files over to the new theme in order to make sure that my blog page and my home page look the same as they do now after the update. Now we're ready to start copying over our template code. In both windows, select the first file with the same file name. For example, I'm going to select the blog.json file in both themes to open each version's blog template data side by side. Then, in the old theme, select the file's contents and copy it to your clipboard. You can use keyboard shortcuts to make this step easier. If you're on a PC, you can select all of the file's contents at once by pressing Ctrl-A on your keyboard, and then copy it to your clipboard by pressing Ctrl-C. On a Mac, you can do the same with Command-A and Command-C. Now, in the new theme, I'm going to delete the current code and paste everything from my old theme to copy over my preferences for this template. You can use the keyboard shortcut Control-V on a PC or Command-V on a Mac to paste the contents of your clipboard into this file. Remember to click Save in the new theme. You'll need to repeat this process for any files that have changed in this folder. To keep track of this process, I usually recommend opening all of the files that need updates first on both themes so that you can close each tab once you've transferred and saved the new contents. For any custom templates that you've previously created in your older copy of the theme, you'll need to create a new template file in the newer copy of the theme before you're able to migrate your custom template code. You can do this by selecting the Add a new template link at the top of the templates folder in your theme editor. For example, in my test shop's older copy of Stiletto, I've created an additional product template called Custom and we can see its product.custom.json file in my templates folder there, but not in the newer copy of the theme. So I'll need to create a new product template file where I'll be able to copy my custom template settings into in the new copy of Stiletto. I'll do this by selecting add a new template, 
selecting the product template from the dropdown, making sure that the JSON file format is selected, and naming it the same way as I did in the older theme. Then I'm ready to copy over the code, like I did with the previous template files. This will copy the custom template over to the new theme, so that any products using this template can continue to use it without having to set it up in the theme editor a second time. Similarly, if you created a unique page template, you would need to go through the same process and choose page from the dropdown in the code editor while creating the new file. Once we've moved any custom templates over, we're ready to move on to the final step in updating our theme. In this last step, we're going to copy all of the settings like colors and typography options that we've previously chosen in the older version of the theme to the new one. This step is easy because the theme settings all live in the same file. So to do this, we'll open the config folder and then click on the settings underscore data dot JSON file to open it. And just like in the previous steps, all we need to do is copy all of the contents from the older version of this file into the newer version of this file and click Save. Congratulations, if you've made it to this step, you've successfully updated to the latest version of the theme. There are three possible exceptions which fall outside of the scope of our support, but are important to be aware of while doing these updates. The first is that if you've embedded an app or tracking snippets in your theme.liquid file, these will usually need to be carried over manually. They're usually located just above the closing head or closing body tags in the theme.liquid code. The second is that many apps will add code files to your snippets or assets folders, which will need to be manually carried over or reinstalled into the new theme. If you have any issues with this, please contact your app developer who will be able to assist you more directly. And the third is that if you're using custom font files, these will also need to be manually re-added back into your new theme. We've got a great guide to adding custom fonts to your theme that we'll link in the description to this video. That's it, well done. Now you can close the code editors and preview the old and new themes beside one another before publishing the new theme when you're ready.